right everybody welcome back today we can get back going here kind of pick back up where we left off back on the dash here and see if we can get everything welded up cleaned up smoothed up get this dash all nice and pretty and back in the car and finished up also they're a lot easier to get to we don't even have to disassemble we just take the hood off and then start assembling right that's pretty cool you go ahead and undo these and i'll take the rest those of are them fake. off i'm not doing right. that Ready to get going? I'm down for it. Got this all welded up. Then we can do a little hammer dolly action, do a little grinding, get this all cleaned up, get it set back in the car so we can get the mount tabs made, and then see if we can start building some filler pieces for the end. All right, we got the welds hammered out a little bit. Got some of our contour started back into the dash here. So I'm gonna pull this thing over here and take it over the planishing hammer. And we'll see if we can massage the rest of our crown into our dash and get this thing back to the shape it needs to be. Okay, some grinding, a little hammer dolly work, and some love with the planishing hammer. Got our crown put back into this dash. Set this thing into the car here. Oh, looks like there's a little more love over here. We don't quite have our crown in it, so we'll work this side a little bit more and we'll get this thing stuck in the car.
Okay, so we just made four brackets here. So this dash, originally in the Henry J, was all welded in. We cut this out along this line. It was all built into the body, into the cowl. So, went through, punched some holes on the other side here because there's no mounting brackets. We're going to make this thing so it's removable so you can pull it in and out. So we're going to weld these brackets in. That way we can finish off the cowl. Everything's nice. Everything will be nice and rigid inside here. But yet the dash will be removable so we can always access, get to everything. Make it a whole lot more user friendly to work on. All right, went through, punched our tabs, punched a hole so we can align everything, clamp it in place. We'll go through later and we'll tap our straps and put us some little screws in there, but this will hold it in place for the time being. And have our nice little stretched out Henner J dash. Okay, there we got our tabs all in there so that thing's ready to party now we're done got the dash in need to trim this edge back we need to put our side filler panel in here so i'm gonna get this trimmed up cleaned up I'm gonna cut us up some sheet metal let's put us a little contour in it and we'll get this thing closed up and this dash will be ready to prep up and get some primer and paint on it I right, made this little cardboard template of our end piece. We're gonna get this cut out. If we like the way it fits, we'll transfer it onto some sheet metal. We'll add some contour to it, and we'll get this welded in. Okay, so that's kind of how our piece is gonna fit in the end right here. So we'll do a little trimming on our template here a little bit. We'll transfer this over, and we'll start making a piece and get it welded in and cleaned up. All right, got a template made for both sides. Let's get these things transferred over to some sheet metal and get them cut out. to cut out there do a little hammering and shaping on these guys and see if they fit that thing's 
Alright, got our end piece in here. Not too bad, a little more shaping on it and we'll get it tacked up here. <laughs> Okay, got the end fillers in, got them cleaned up. Get this thing back into the car here and see how this all looks. cap at the end here a little bit of a void back there we'll see we might add to that we might leave it open but a nice contour got room for the door panel to come through come over the passenger side same thing got us a nice line Got us a nice little end piece. Coming together. This thing's about ready to rock and roll as far as the dash goes.